right. Um, I'm actually going to be replacing my oh, my slash. I was actually running on my on my rustler uh, rear suspension arms. But I'm actually going to replace them with uh, RPM rear sh uh, shock A arms um, for a Traxxas slash two wheel drive. As you can see, that's what they look like. So that's what I'm going to do today, and I'm going to replace them. Um, this is this is not even a tutorial, so <laughs> this is I'm just showing you what I'm actually doing. Um, show you what I'm, what I'm doing here and stuff. Um, I'm actually gonna do uh, the the first one for you guys, um, just to show you guys what I'm doing. And then I'll do the second one off camera, since essentially it's just the same thing. So yeah, I believe this one is the right, and this one's the right side. All right, I'm just gonna. No, I'm actually wrong. This is the left side. <laughs> I just realized there's still there are some little indentations here indicating that it's the left side and all obviously it also says uh, has a letter L on it so this is the left side okay my bad Okay, um, I, actually, I actually just put the spur gear back on, off camera, so, just to uh, keep, make things easier. I'm just gonna put the other suspension arm back on the other side, just to, uh, just to make things a little easier for me. I actually heard that some people actually put Loctite on this on this thing um, because for the main reason being because these screws, little screw pins that connect the connect to the transmission assembly to the, to the suspension arm, they tend to like to strip out. Well, not strip out, but like they tend to um, um, loosen their thread. Um, but I haven't had a problem with that in, in, that, in this case, but I heard people uh, had that experience before. So, here we go. I'm gonna actually gonna work on this one on this side. To... Crap, I should not put the spur gear back in there in the first place. I'll get, um, I'll get to that later. So... This one, because we're supposed to, we're supposed to put this one on, put the arm thing on and stuff. So, oopsie daisy, I screwed that up again. But uh, I'm not worrying on the other side. I'm gonna be working on this side real quick. Stuff like that. Um, okay. Alright, so I'm actually gonna put, yeah, that's where I will put this. Grab the tools. Um, actually, shouldn't be, uh, you should not be copying this. Uh, I mean, not as far as the fixing goes, but. The little work, so-called workbench I'm doing. It's black, and my most of my tools are black, and uh, it, it kind of blends in with the with the color of this table. But I'm actually just doing this because I'm like 
I just need to reassemble the whole car. But um, don't don't do this though in general. Uh, I highly uh, suggest you use a, like a white table or use like a bright paper towel so you could uh, at least see where your dark tools are or your dark hardware is at. Stuff like that. So, or something that you can easily see your parts and hardware and your tools and stuff like that. So it's just in case if you're just going to be, if you're just keep rifling through your, your bits and pieces. But, uh, yeah, no problems with that. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera a little bit, guys. And this one actually goes in the back. Okay. That's on. We're gonna put this screw on the third third hole of this AR. Should get one of those um, stands, the RC stands that spin around. Yeah, just get one of those. Just to make this job a lot easier. Accidentally dropped my, my my tool. Clumsy me. what it should look like though. All fully assembled. The reason why I actually wanted to go back to my um, to slash length A arms is because the Rustler arms, I mean even though they do fit on this car, um, it's too wide for my for, to put my body on so that's why I had to crazily lift it up um, when I put the Rustler ribs on. And we're not Rustler ribs but the Rustler arms and stuff like that. So and it's also rubbing on my fenders so I had to Always put it, put the track inside, track width of the uh, truck inside and stuff like that. Anyways, uh, so that's how it's uh, being done. Um, I'm actually gonna do the other one off camera. All right, the wheels are back on. I mean, not the wheels are back on. Um, the the arms are back on. I put the new ones on, stuff like that. Now, I'm actually going to be putting the wheels back on, so I'm not going to do that off camera, and uh, yeah. So, uh, I'll see you guys later.